Welcome to the party. It's your watch time, friend. If you're seeing me, if you're listening, then it's time to watch something. What's up, guys? It's your girl D, and this is Watch Time Friends, where you watch stuff with me, your friend D, because my other friends don't like me enough to do it. <laughs> Today, we are watching The Bear, season one, episode two. I really enjoyed last episode. It was extremely chaotic. <laughs> it was a lot going on, a lot of jargon being thrown around that I didn't understand. I appreciated that there were other people in the room that also didn't understand. So then he had to explain it to them because he was really explaining it to me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just want to see what else we get in this season. It's very, you know, yeah, I'm just excited to see what else we just, we're just delving in. So yeah, I'm not going to hold y'all up. Let's watch something. Was this his fancy job? It's very quiet in there. <laughs> Chefs, table 38, two people. Hey. Table 23, four people. Hey. Broken soft wow. champagne. Hey, chef. Fire 31, 25, two out on 31, chefs. Hey. Still not there again, chef. Yes, chef. Thank you, chef. Why? Chef, I'm sorry. Is it? Too hot. Why? It did. Why? But it was my fault. Go. Oh, dang. Fire 19 chefs. Dang. Hold That's it? Why do you hire idiots? Do you like working with idiots? I'll do better. Say yes, chef. Yes, chef. Can you not handle this? I can handle it. I can handle it, chef. I can handle it, chef. 12, 10, 36. Fire, eight, Don't 13, with my town. Sorry, Three. chef. I get it. You have a short man's complex. You can barely reach over this table, right? Is this why you have the tattoos and your cool little scars and you go out and you take your smoke breaks? It's fun, isn't it? But here's Dang. The You're terrible at this. You're no good at it. Go faster, mother Keep going fast. If he wasn't good, then you would have fired him like you fired that last girl. You think you're so tough. Yeah. Why don't you say this? Say, yes, chef. I'm so tough. Yes, chef. I'm so tough. Say, yes, chef. I'm so tough. Yes, chef. I'm so tough. You are not tough. You are bullshit. You are talentless. Say, hands. Hands. You should be dead. What the heck? Oh no. Hands! Somebody hands to me! Hands! Goodwill! Hands, please! Please! What you I think we gotta have a a work meeting where we talk about what this place is not that's actually gross. <laughs> Y'all gotta do better. Chef, you want me to spray that oil for you? No, oh, no, I got it. Thank you, Chef. Why am I using a toothbrush, Chef? It's about consistency and being consistent. Can't operate at a higher level without consistency. You gotta have a meeting about what all the terminology means, because I don't think they know what it means. No one's a shit, huh? <laughs> the best. Teach you to operate at a level you didn't oh, even know you could yes. operate at, Marcus. Yay. And just so we're clear, I wanted to work here. Mike wouldn't let me. No, no, no. You went halfway around the world to learn all this fancy, useless fucking bullshit. I went to West Lawrence Avenue and learned every lesson. West Lawrence? Yeah. You talking about DeVry? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, DeVry, we're serious about success. Oh, is that you're supposed to be <laughs> funny? Where else are you going to learn crucial database management oh, specialization what skills? Are you on? Well, I have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> I would legit do anything to go to Norma. And eat bugs. And be inspired. Oh, God. The ice cream machine is broken. So what? Did I teach you to fix that? Actually, yes. OK, good. Was Graduated? <laughs> no. <laughs> Does anyone ever order the ice cream? Oh, the ice, ice cream, cream machine. <laughs> Those things just must be, I mean, McDonald's machine is always down. <laughs> This man is working hard. But we don't want him to burn out, though. Maria forms a dough, picking up all the flour so her board is clean. She then kneads it until it is smooth. Whatever Maria is making is going to be fire. Table 16, 17, table Go faster, mother. Why are you so slow? Why are you so slow? Oh, 
Take a break, sweetheart. I just wanted to say thanks for this past week. It's been a really great opportunity, uh, but I want to do more. I want more to do, yeah. And I want to get paid. You get paid? I get paid to stage. I want to get paid to work here. I feel like I've been working here. I, I did do some extra credit, though. They basically say we're getting killed on labor we shouldn't be hoping from 11 to 2 for lunch and 5 to 9 for dinner mm -hmm. is my hair on fire uh not yet no but you need help these savings 20 percent of them could cover my yearly salary plus we're sleeping on to goes that's yeah, business no, just no, no, sitting no, no, right no, no, there no, no. we should interrupt the support system organization for food and go business we need to figure out packaging, packaging right on packaging page could... 27 randomly um there, there, there's randomly a pretty good layout of just that page okay 27. yeah it's Mostly graphics. Okay! Just put it on his desk, he'll read it. I can handle this myself, cousin, I got this. Who's this? So, you're not running. My partner, Ron Pager, he passed away. I'm running his routes now. Right. Nancy Chore, Chicago Board of Health. I'm here to inspect the property. Okay, Nancy, hi, I'm Carmen Brazado. I'm the owner. He's the owner's brother, actually. Can I uh, see some kind of identification? Yeah. Well, interesting. Is it? It's interesting. What's what's interesting about that? It's an interesting logo on Nancy, the badge. Nancy, you need anything? Just find us. Make yourself at home. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. No funny business, Miss Chor. You too. Okay. <laughs> I also know that what in the world that uh, it's not necessarily flour that's expensive, but the shipping. So we could just have somebody go and pick it up. No, no, uh, that can only be Marcus. Sweeps, Tina, and Ebra don't drive. But what about Richie? Suspended license. Mm. I saw him drive in this morning. <laughs> Sydney walked in here a couple days ago and now she's running shit just like that. Chef, I would do anything to work at Noma. Look around. This ain't Noma. No, oh, don't be jealous. Sydney, hey, Sydney, Sydney, Sydney. Look, I'm sure this is all correct, okay, but it's a lot. Look, the job you're describing Maybe is she's well, running afford. stuff, even though she's probably not, because she's actually willing to help him do whatever he needs to do. Of turning this into an efficient respectable place of business run by adults. Just leave it on his desk. He'll read it. He'll read it later. Does anybody know how dangerous this is? Yo, yo, what? No, just, it wasn't dangerous. What's dangerous? Ms. Chor, until you pulled it out. I discovered a large hole in the tile. Looks like a former gas line next to the stove tops. Not only was it not properly dry while well cocked, but someone clogged the hole with napkins and then proxied over it <laughs> Don't with look at me. some kind of plastic grease seeped into the napkins and the proxy became unproxied potential cross contaminant additionally no hot water in the hand station okay well that one I, you know miss char i've told chicago ron this a hundred times you just gotta wait a minute for it to warm longer. up so you can relax it <laughs> take relax. longer health code states any sink near a prep area needs to deliver instantly hot water to prevent the spread of bacteria yeah and i haven't oh, even delivered the big brother. one yet. the big one someone left a pack of cigarettes on the stove top near the burners not only very dangerous but also a potential yeah. contaminant yeah. fortunately what is this going to cost us like in consequence no, no, uh, no, see no. you know what i'm, I'm going to cock that shit right now oh, okay? oh oh it doesn't matter how fast you do it i can't come back to test for 30 days yeah, well it will take five no 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 don't touch that it will take five seconds to cock dang oh. yeah but i'm saying that there's no cock I mean, some people so believe, you like, you want to run this place, you fucking How do you know they're not your sick? How do you know they're not your sick? How do you know they're not your sick? I would not be between them. I'm not going to lie. Some people believe that, like, the, you're gonna go to the, hard the grosser store. it is, the better the food. You're going to get some but... joint compound. <laughs> you're going to get some cock, and you're going to cock that. FYI. I'm not your fucking gopher. FYI. But you were just begging to do it. Okay, well, I would love to, but uh, my license is expired. FYI. We drove in this morning. See, that's... <laughs> you want to help? You can take him. No. Nah. <laughs> Team. Fine. We're taking my car. I, I don't care. <laughs> She said you drove in now? this morning. <laughs> See? We know. That's funny, bro. 
I mean, that was the only thing she found, and all that just gave you a C automatically. Those two things. I guess they're pretty big, but dang, that sucks. Who's that? Where is this? Sh we can always talk to somebody who works here. No, 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 no. I can find this myself. Okay, but you're just gonna complain the entire time you look for it. You know, my entire life. I had to listen to everybody acting all worried about him all the time. He's a baby. Don't get Carmine into trouble. You know, I was a baby too once, Sydney. Nobody give a f Okay, um, I'm sorry about that, but none of that, like, messed up the wall that we're here <laughs> to fix. Yeah, so. He's giving me crap about not letting him work at the restaurant when he was a kid. You think I give a f where that dude works? Mikey. Wait, why didn't Michael want him to work at the restaurant? Because he's a little bitch, probably. Is that really the reason? What was like the deal with Michael? Uh, he shot himself in the head four months ago. What? Jeez. He was my best friend. Boom! There's that shit. told you. Dealing. I'm gonna find somebody who works here. No. I got this. Jeez Louise, this guy. Then, you know, the, uh, the produce bill is due, you know, and the power comes in. I asked you where you've been. Here? You're looking at this is where I've been. <laughs> Carm, this place is bullshit, right? I mean, you're never gonna fix it. Why is everyone so negative around here? Into Running a restaurant is difficult your brother. already, but dang. I didn't know Michael took money from you. Yeah, he took a lot of money from me, which he never paid back. Well, now I gotta hold you responsible. How, uh, how, how much? <clears throat> 300 grand. Jeez. Oh my gosh. 300K? That's why you stopped by? I stopped by to see you. I should have stopped by to break your legs, but you know, I guess I'm becoming forgetful. Break his legs for money he didn't take? I don't know. He said he was going to franchise the place, but you knew that was bullshit. You still gave it to him? I loved him, too. Let's well, just do the easy thing here, and you sell it to me. No. No. Yeah, we're no, not going to do that. You just said restaurants are bad for business. Who says I'm going to keep it a restaurant? I'll get you the money, Jimmy. Oh, is that his uncle? All right, I promise you. Well, I don't even know why you want to work for that little stunard. I don't know what that means, but... Whether you like it or not, he's incredibly talented, and we could all learn a lot from him. You know the restaurant could be good. Like, it doesn't have to be a place where the food is shitty and where everybody acts shitty and feels shitty. Like, it could be a good, legit spot. Okay, you know what, Sydney? You're getting a little aggressive, and I think maybe you should just pause <laughs> She's and getting take a breath aggressive before now. you start driving. Man or woman... You're always command, aggressive! It's dangerous to get behind the wheel when you're hysterical. <laughs> Ridiculous. Why do you keep calling me? Oh my gosh. <laughs> What's going on there? Is she crying again? Lord have mercy. Can I just talk to her, please? Hey, sweetie. What's wrong? Oh, you're scared? Uh, wh what are you scared about? Yeah. I get it. You're gonna do great. And if you don't, I'm going to give you $500. Feels like more of an incentive to not do great. Of course, I still love you. I love you so, so much. I love you more and more every day, if that's possible. I'm so proud of you, kiddo. I love you. Sorry, my, uh, <coughs> my daughter's going through a phase. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, how, how old is she? Uh, she's five. Oh. Like Carmi. Okay. Food and wine's best in your dickhead. All right. And we're back. I f***ed up with those cigarettes. I'm sorry about Michael. And I got the wrong cock, I think. You did. Dang. But she bought the right one, didn't she? I did. Mm-hmm. Thank goodness, because he would have had to go all the way back inside. I knew he would read it eventually. <clears throat> Listen, sugar. I woke up in the middle of the night cooking a bunch of wrapped frozen shit. I almost set my apartment on fire. Does that happen a lot? Sometimes. Well, at least he told somebody. Did you look at the thing? No, I didn't look at the thing. Pete and I have been going lately, and it's actually been really nice. Look, I'm, uh, I'm fine. I have trouble breathing sometimes, and I wake up screaming. 
doesn't sound okay, fine. I just sent it to you again. When did the breathing problem start? I think maybe sometime in New York. I was throwing up every day before work. Okay. Well, that's, that's because you were terrified to go there. Because your boss sucked. You throwing up. No. No. No, it was awful. Uh, chef was a piece of Then why'd you stay there? I don't know. Um, people love the food. Felt good. Chefs always say a big part of the job is taking care of people. Okay, well, you can't really do that if you're not taking care of yourself then. True. And I like when you tell me things. It's okay to ask for help. I understand. I do. Interesting. The picture. To Carmi from Mikey. Oh. He's not gonna give it to him. Is he? Okay. Never mind. <laughs> gonna put it back chef let's fire two chicken peppers two sausage pepper two mortadelle two chicken pepper two sausage pepper two mortadelle chef thank you chef yes chef pretty thank you chef Bye. one more sausage pepper one more mortadelle chef two more mortadelle two more mortadelle chef gorgeous thank you chef thank you for taking richie today oh yeah no sweat do you want me to uh come in tomorrow Please. Yeah, you're hired. Yeah? Let's go. Yes. Yeah. We fix that all? Yeah, yeah. Is the health department coming back? Yeah, yeah, I think so. In 30 days. <laughs> we all good in there? Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna burn one. I haven't had one all day. I'll see you in a second, right? Those his cigarettes? Fuck. Oh, dang it. Dang, that sucks. Ooh. AI, I know. Okay, so that was episode two of The Bear. It was equally as good. We're getting somewhere, okay? Things, well. I don't know why they were hating on Sydney. It really feels like them being jealous because she's so nice. There's no reason to hate on her. But we're hired though, so that's good. Hopefully the, I mean, it seems like the, the plan that she drew up or the research that she did, I mean, it had a lot of effort put into it. So maybe we can implement some of those things that are in there and that'll help us with this. I mean, the 300 thousand dollars we owe jimmy on top of all the other bills that are behind from before that sucks that we have a c but at least it only lasts for 30 days you know and maybe some people who have been going there will still go in just off the strength of them being consistent and they're like, nah, I don't care. This place is always good. And I've never seen a roach in my food. <laughs> so, you know, hopefully it won't hurt business too badly. But yeah, also, I guess not just in terms of the the restaurant. Hopefully we can get the restaurant up and going again and and in the green, of course. But um, we also need to do some work clearly mentally and emotionally because waking up sleep cooking your tv dinners is insane and we cannot do that we cannot do that again that's actually terrifying for real because the flame the flames were huge he had four of those things going so like that that wasn't no small little fire I'm really liking this show so far. If you made it to this point in the video, I appreciate you for being here. And if you liked it, you could leave a like. And if you want to see more from me, consider subscribing. Other than that, that's going to be a wrap on this one. So I hope to see you in the next one. Peace. Welcome to the party. It's your watch time friend. If you're singing me, if you're listening.